Let's talk a little bit about phone scoping. One of the main joys of phone scoping is how lightweight your equipment is. Remember, the fact that you're bringing less gear with you means you're more mobile. It's birding in its purest form. Just your scope, tripod, bins, and your telephone. And because you're only putting this on top of your scope, there's no need for a really heavy tripod. I get asked regularly, what's the best camera for digiscoping? And the answer is, the camera you got with you. Many people already have fantastic scope and a fantastic camera available in their pockets. Yes, there's a huge difference in uh, the image quality that you're gonna get out of a top of the range um, mirrorless camera and your mobile phone, but that gap is decreasing. These cameras are now packed full with artificial intelligence to improve uh, images and uh, make up for a small fault. It simplifies photography for you. It's enjoyable to use. You just attach it to your scope, fix your focus point on your screen, focus with your scope, and then snap away until your heart's content. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this, the Smartoscope Vario Adapter. This is far and out the best phone scoping adapter I've ever had the pleasure to use. It's universal in every way, so think about different types of scope, different types of phone, also large phones, they all fit comfortably in this, and in most cases they fit with their protective a case on as well. In short, locate, secure, align, enjoy. Apps are where your phone scoped images take on a whole new life. Editing apps such as Lightroom synchronize all of your phone scoped images to the cloud with all the relevant GPS data and what have you. That means that when you get back home or behind your laptop, you can work at them at your own leisure and you can see where you saw what it was that you've seen. Or picture this if you will you're out in the field and you see your life a bird snap it upload it instant bragging rights alternatively you might see something in the field and you just don't know what it is you can snap it upload it to whichever portal you use and then get somebody to help you identify it sharing images has never been easier